chance now for McPherson to loft the ball in. It's a windy day, what's that going to do to it? And it comes, Stuart Taylor! It's an early lead for Falkirk. And the ground that will be a supermarket next season, the cross coming in from household items, and found Stuart Taylor lurking in canned goods, and his header slammed into exotic fruits for the discerning customer. 1-0 Falkirk. Richie Hart now for Tokley. It's Tokley needs to find space. Jamie McCulkin in quickly in the challenge. Tokley now. Decent ball. Hart lets it go. Down goes Robson. Unimpressed. Hugh Dallas. Play on, says the referee, and that'll be a goal kick. So it could be Bobby Mann, it could be Barry Robson with this free kick. Both of them shaping up. Alan Ferguson will have to win his toes here. Bobby Mann hits it round the wall, it's taken a deflection. And Inverness have pulled level. Well, Bobby Mann's free kick was going to the left of Alan Ferguson, it was deflected to his right, into the corner of the net, to the delight of the small band of Inverness fans over in the main stand. Bobby Mann happy himself as well. Inverness determined to take something from this game, and it's now 1 1. Falkirk worked hard to win the ball, up towards Owen Coyle. Mark Kerr with a bit of space, trying to get the ball over to John Henry. Does so. Henry can't get the ball moved on, but that's handball. And a free kick for Falkirk. So it would suit the right foot of Miller. McPherson runs over, Lee Miller. Robson got his head to that. It's headed back into the penalty area. Taylor trying to get the shot in. Robson tries to block. And so a long throw by the look of it here. Lee Miller, the intended target, got his head to it. There's a real chance now. Stuart Taylor scores his second goal of the game. Inverness are behind once more. Just a matter of minutes after they've got back to one each. Stuart Taylor has struck once more. And it's now 2 1 for Falkirk. Eventually <laughs> losing out to Stuart Taylor illegally, according to Hugh Dallas. Richie Hart takes it, drills it in. Oh, that looked to be going for the top corner. Ross Tokley missed out in the air. And it was headed over by a Falkirk defender. It was a dangerous free kick sent in by Richie Hart. It might well have produced something for Inverness. On comes Charlie Christie. I just wonder if he'll continue to play next season himself. And this, for him, could be a final game for Inverness. McBain, oh, he can't get past his man, but there's a hand used there by Stephen Rennie. So, Bobby Mann, Richie Hart, both there, I think Mann will hit this one, tries to curl it, and Bobby Mann has scored for Inverness. Well, the Falkirk wall stood and looked at the ball, so too did Alan Ferguson, that's a great free kick from Bobby Mann. It's a second goal for Inverness, they've shocked Falkirk here. There's always silence at Brockville, except the small band of Inverness fans on the far side. That's a great ball now, Roy McBain has a real chance here for a third goal for Inverness into the middle and really the pass had to be better for Steve Hislop but that was a golden opportunity perhaps for a winner for Inverness but Roy McBain in space and in time he might have gone himself but here's another chance balls in the net and that's another goal now Steve Hislop played it in Charlie Christie with the final touch the balls in the net for a third time Inverness fans can't quite believe it delirium for them Charlie Christie with the final touch, Steve Hislop set it up. Stunned disbelief in the Falkirk bench, John Hughes. Can't quite believe what he's seeing here. Now Colin Samuel, there's not long left here. And the 
fans are willing Falkirk to an equaliser. The ball too long. McPherson takes up on the far side. It's still danger here. Good save as Taylor there for his hat trick. And that is over the crossbar. And what a chance for Stuart Taylor to score a hat trick and also to keep the unbeaten record going here at Brockville. He was unable to take it. Disappointment all round. Launched forward by Mark Brown. Played back, but only as far as Russell Duncan as the final whistle goes. Falkirk then check out with the defeats. And it's goodbye to Brockville. Farewell to Alec Ferguson, to Andy Roxburgh, Alec Totten, to Kevin McAllister, to Tiger and McLaughlin, George Miller, Alec Parker, the memories of all the players over the years. Goodbye, Hope Street. You can't go behind the wall anymore because the wall is being demolished. The bricks might fall, leaving only memories, but the final result from Brockville is Falkirk 2, Inverness, Caledonian Thistle 3. Played for the number of years I have, and never actually won a title. You know, I've had four or five, maybe about five promotions. But to actually go in and, and win the title being a number one spot, I think it's thoroughly deserved. All season, I think we have been a team in the division. We are absolutely clear we meet the criteria, and therefore we take it that the board will, will vote on a business-like basis within the law, within the criteria, and therefore uh, our bid should be accepted. Season. It's all about this day as well, isn't it? Definitely, aye, that's what it's all about. I've only started my career and only says we've not got a lot of days like this, so you've got to soak, soak up the atmosphere. Ian McCall, Big Chizzy started this at the start of the season. Um, great credit to them, but a lot of credit to Yogi and Oni, they've carried it on. Um, we've ended up winning the league. Brilliant day, uh, you can see yourself, the ground's heaving, it's brilliant. Won the game because it was the last game of Brockville, and obviously to go unbeaten throughout the season at home. But it wasn't to be, but it's been a marvellous season for the boys. I've come in halfway through, and I thoroughly enjoyed it.